Hi. Welcome to the channel. Today we have Korean thriller movie Bedeviled, which was released in 2010. Now, let's start the video. Nice! Good idea! Hey one is a single woman who works at a bank. She is strict and hyper-competitive in nature. She has been phoned by her childhood friend, and asked for a visit, but she has ignored it every time. She even ignored her letters and doesn't reply them. She finally decides to visit her on vacation. Her friend welcomes her in Mudo Island. And her name is Buk Nam. Hei Won had spent her teen on the island with her close friend. Mudo Island is a socially isolated place where only few people lives there. Hei Won's grandpa used to live there. Buk Nam escorts her to the house. She has cleaned the house for her. Hei Won then rests for a day, while Buk Nam prepares a pillow for her. Buknam lives on the island with her family, her abusive husband, lustful brother-in-law, mean mother-in-law and her daughter. She lives like a slave to the family and dominated by the women, in the society. Her husband and daughter goes for a fishing, while her brother-in-law, rapes her. Her husband and daughter returns home, with empty hand. Then he starts to beat her, while daughter eats fruits outside like nothing happened. Next day. Buk Nam goes to Hei Won, cooks her food, washes her clothes and, helps her bathe. Hei Won wanders around the village, and play with Nam's daughter. Same day, a female sex worker was called by Nam's husband, while they have sex inside the room, Buk Nam eats outside like nothing happened. Hei Won arrives and finds about it. But Buk Nam makes them leave, because it would create problem for her. The female prostitute chats with Nam as she says she would leave such kind of man and apologizes. Buknam answers he would kill her if she tries to run away. Next day, Buknam is extracting honeybees. Her husband scolds for preparation of food and hits stone on the beehive, she gets stung by the bees. She prepares food for him at home, now, he orders her to work for honey, and hits her with piece of wood. Buknam now finds her daughter underwear in his husband's pocket. She finds her daughter doing makeup with red lipstick. She asks who gave her it. It was the father who gave her the lipstick. The father suddenly arrives and beat Buk Nam. He hugs his daughter in uncomfortable manner. Buk Nam finds the sickle, and after seeing her daughter she leaves it. It was time for Hei Won to return to city, Buk Nam goes to her, and beg her to take her daughter with her, to the city. She explains the situation of her husband, but Hei Won doesn't believe it and refuses to take her. The conversation was eavesdropped by a woman. Next day, Hei Won talks with Yun Hee, about her dad. Suddenly the grandmother arrives and takes her away. Buk Nam steals the money and plans to run away. In the morning, she leaves with her daughter. The boat arrives but, it belongs to her husband's friend. And her husband appears on the shore. They were scared but the friend doesn't care to start the boat, so her plan fails. Her husband starts beating them, and the crowd seems supporting the husband. He accidentally kills the daughter there. The investigator arrives next day, but with all those liar people, there was no any evidence. Hei Won arrives there, she also says, she didn't saw the event, as she claims she was sleeping at the time. Nam's brother-in-law prepares some food, and gives it to Hei Won. She is unconscious now, so he tries to rape her, but Buk Nam saves her. Buk Nam prepares grave for her daughter on the yard. But, her mother-in-law orders to dig potatoes from the field. Everybody is now on the field for potatoes, while everybody is having fun and eating lunch, Buk Nam is working continuously on the field. Buk Nam is grieving for her daughter but everybody was singing. Her mother-in-law goes to get some fish. Buk Nam suddenly starts looking at the sun straightly for a minute, and goes for a water. Everybody is scared. It is when she turns into a devil, she starts stabbing them with a sickle, one by one leaving the old man, who couldn't speak. She sat down and smile. Her mother-in-law sees it, and runs away to hide. Next day, Hei Won can't get the network signal, as Buk Nam has destroyed the tower. Her mother-in-law meets Hei Won, scared and shaking with fear. Suddenly Buk Nam arrives, hits Hei Won and chases the mother-in-law to the shore. Suddenly the boat arrives with her son, and she jumps off and dies. Now, Buk Nam goes for brother-in-law. The shipman and her husband arrives in the village, and sees the head on the tree. Buk Nam comes there, 
and cuts the shipman's hand. Since her husband is strong, he fights back, and takes her to home and beats her. But Buknam is successful to kill him as well. Haywon takes the shipman to run from the island. But the ship was tied to the shore. Shipman tries to loose it but gets killed. Haywon is successful to run away from her. After days, Buknam leaves the island to the city. The day when her daughter died is again shown, as the whole event was witnessed by Haywon, but she had refused it back then. Buknam finds the policeman and Haywon. She kills the policeman. She attacks Haywon, but Haywon stabs her with flute accidentally. Then Buknam asks her to play it, like she used to play in their childhood. And Buknam dies. This is how, an innocent woman turns into dangerous devil in the story.